We are talking about reflections and translations, and we're going to have some examples about how to draw reflections in the coordinate plane. So here it says, reflect triangle ABC over the x-axis. And here we have our pre-image of A, B, and C, and we want to reflect it over the x-axis. So by reflecting it over the x-axis, we're going to get some new coordinates. And this is the x-axis right here. And the way that we could write that is a reflection over the x-axis lowercase r, x-axis. Okay, now basically all we really have to do is count how far is each point from the x-axis. So c is down here and we're just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So when we label it up here, we put the dot, and then this is going to be C prime. B is on the same line as C, so that's going to be 9. So I'm just going to go straight up, straight up, and that's going to be right there. That's going to be B prime. And A is just 1, 1 right there. So that's going to be A prime. And then to finish out, all we have to do is connect the dots. And then we have our new reflection. We have a couple more examples that we can look at. So here we have a reflection of the triangle ABC in the line X equals negative three. So in this one, all we have to do is we have to draw the line x equals negative 3. So there's going to be a vertical line at negative 3, which is right here. So this is the line x equals negative 3. And we have, all we have to do is count again. So we have point A, so we go 1, 2, 1, 2, and that becomes A prime. We have B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be B prime. And then we have C prime which actually goes the other way after we never get to the line. So we actually have to count the other direction. So one, one, that's going to be C prime. And then we can just connect the dots. And then we have our new image. The next one we have is a reflection of ABC across the x-axis. So here is the x-axis, which is right here. So I'm going to highlight that. And just to check the coordinates, um, the summary reflection here, I'm going to write down the coordinates of all the points. So point A is at 1 negative 3, 
point B is at 3, 0. And point C is at 4, negative 2. And we want to see where that goes to. So we get just count to the line. So A is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 for A prime. C is 1, 2. So 1, 2. C prime. B doesn't move. B is the same point because it's right on the line of reflection. And so now we can just connect the dots. And we have our, our image and we can write down the coordinates of our image. So that goes to A prime is 1, 3. And B prime is 3, 0. And C prime is 4, 2. So when we look at the summary reflection over the x-axis rule, the x's don't change. A is 1, A is 1, or A prime is 1. B is 3. B prime is 3, C is 4, C prime is 4. The Y value becomes whatever the Y value was before, but now it's negative. So negative 3 becomes positive 3. 0 multiplied by negative 1 is still 0, and negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 is 2. So that's the reflection rule over the X axis. Next one we come to is example 4, and then this says reflect triangle DEF in the line Y equals 1. And Y equals 1 is a horizontal line right here. And now all we have to do is just count. So down 1, 2, 1, 2. So that's going to be E prime. And then that's up at 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right there. And that's going to be D prime. And then F. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be F prime. And then we just have to connect our dots. And then we have reflection of triangle ABC across the y-axis. And again, we want to write the rules down. So we have the same coordinates that we had from our example above. So A is 1, negative 3. B is 3, 0. And C is 4, negative 2. And now we want to reflect over the y-axis. So the y-axis is going to be right here. And all we have to do is count. So a is over 1, over 1. That's going to be a prime. c is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be C prime. And B is over 3 and over 3. And that's going to be B prime. And then all we have to do is connect our dots. And we can write down our new coordinates. So the new coordinates of... 
a prime are going to be negative 1, negative 4. And our new coordinates of b prime are going to be negative 3, 0. And our new coordinates for c prime are going to be negative 4, negative 2. And in this one, the only thing that we have is we have our x value changes from positive to negative. So positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. And our y value did not change. Our a value, for some reason I wrote that down as negative 4, but really our a value should be negative 1, 1, 2, 3. It should be negative 3, so I wrote that one down wrong should be negative three. And then, so now our y values don't change. And that's exactly what the rule shows. x to negative x, y stays y. Uh, now we have one example. We wanna reflect it over the line y equals x. So the line y equals x is a diagonal line that goes right through here. And the summary reflection in the line y equals x is written right here where x y goes to yx and it's actually a lot easier just to do it right with the coordinate rule from this one because it's very difficult to count for this one so the first thing is i'm going to write down the coordinates of a b and c and these are the same coordinates as above so a is 1 negative 3 b is 3 0 and c is 4 negative 2. Now, the coordinate rule is going to be easier than counting because counting for b, we'd have to go 1, 2, 3, and then we have to go up 1, 2, 3. But it's just going to be easier to write down the coordinate rule change. So xy becomes yx. So here we have a prime becomes, we just switch them, so negative 3, comma, 1. B prime becomes 0, 3. And C prime becomes 4, becomes negative 2, negative 2, 4. And then we can graph those a little bit easier. So negative 3, 1, 2, 3. 1. And that's going to be a prime. b becomes 0, 3, b prime. And c prime becomes negative 2, 4. Now, you can count 1, 2, 3, then turn 90 degrees, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you wanted to count, uh, that's the way you do it. You count um, horizontally and then go vertical off the line. Or you can remember the rule whenever we flip over the line um, y equals x. All you do is just change the direction of the ordered pair where y would become first and x becomes second.